Hey there, YouTubers! I've got a short video for you today. Um, so about a month ago or so, I took a cruise to Alaska. Actually, I took a, took a cruise from Alaska. Um, it started in Anchorage and went to Vancouver with three stops along the way. The first stop was Skagway, the second stop was Juneau, and the third stop was Ketchikan. And I made sure to book an accessible room on the cruise ship, so everything was fine with that. Um, the bathroom was great, with the exception of the shower. The shower was a little weird. Um, there was an accessibility bar right by the shower seat, so you kind of had to lean forward in order to use the shower. But the shower head was in back of you, so it was kind of odd um, configuration. But it worked. Um, not all of the bathrooms on the ship were accessible, but there were one or two on each uh, level of the ship that were. And even the ones that weren't, I could still use because my wheelchair is very small, so I could still fit inside the, um, the fit through the doorway. And then sometimes I had to leave the door, uh, the stall door open, which was fine. That wasn't a big deal. But the the main door closed, of course. Um. So I did take pictures of pretty much everything um, accessibility wise, but I took some pictures on my digital camera and some pictures on my phone. And I've been having a lot of trouble getting the pictures from my phone off the phone. Uh, I've tried a few different ways and still haven't successfully gotten them on my computer. So unless I wanna email each picture to myself um, separately, which I don't want to do because there's quite a few of them. Um, so I'm just, so what I decided to do basically is I'm going to talk a little bit about the cruise and then I'm going to put some pictures on not of accessibility stuff, but of just the cruise in general, glaciers and stuff. Um, and then that'll be it for the video. Um, so as I mentioned, it started in, uh, Anchorage. At least I think I mentioned that. Maybe I forgot. Started in Anchorage. I flew from... <clears throat> excuse me. One second. I need to pause. And I'm back. Okay, sorry. I had some uh, spilkes going on here. Um, so, right. Flew from Newark, New Jersey um, to Seattle, Washington. And then from flew from Seattle to... Uh, Anchorage. The reason I did that, I didn't want to do um, a direct flight because I thought it would be easier on me with using bathroom and whatnot. Um, so if you saw one of my previous videos, not the last one, but the one before that, that was a video of the supposedly accessible bathroom on the plane, which wasn't actually accessible. It was just a normal bathroom and they put a handicap sticker on it. Um, but I thought it would be easier if I made a stop turns out that it probably would not have been easier. I mean, it, it probably wasn't easier. That's what I did. It probably would have been easier to just fly direct. Um, on the way back, that's what I did. I flew direct from Vancouver back to New Jersey. So anyway, uh, Anchorage stayed overnight there with uh, a friend of mine went on the cruise with me. So we stayed overnight at a hotel there. Then we took a limo to the port in Whittier and got on the cruise ship. Um, the, oh, the, uh, <laughs> the, the hotel room the night before we got on the ship was also very strange because the, it wasn't an accessible room. I didn't bother booking an accessible room. I usually don't, I don't like, um, accessible rooms. I prefer standard ones, but this standard room was strange in that the toilet, uh, or rather the toilet paper dispenser jutted out over the toilet so you kind of had to sit at an angle on the toilet unless you wanted to be jabbed in the side by the toilet paper dispenser so that was kind of interesting um anyway so we get on the cruise ship uh we have one day at sea then we have another day at sea both days uh for glacier viewing then our first port of call was skagway and uh, we did some, we got to see some uh, s true Alaskan Husky sled dogs, and I got to hold a puppy 
Uh, we did some uh, panning for gold. That was pretty neat. And there was something else we did that that stopped, but I can't remember what it was, right? Oh, right, 40 degree below zero experience is what it was called. So you go in this room, and it's super duper, ooper, pooper, looper, scooper, I don't know. It's really cold, and you stay in there for about, uh, I don't know, two, three minutes or so, just to give you an idea of what it's like in the winter up there. And our guide for that part was actually uh, in shorts and short sleeves because he's used to it. He lives up there year round. So uh, he actually, he said during the summer when it's in the 60s, he goes in that room to cool off because 60 degree weather is too hot for him, which is okay. I can't really understand that, but I guess that works for him. Anyway, so that was cool. Uh, the highlight of that part was probably the sled dogs, though. They were super duper cute. Um, then the next stop was Anchorage, which was kind of... Eh, I don't know. It. I don't want to say anything bad about Anchorage, but it was my least favorite port out of um, Skagway, Anchorage, Ketchikan, and Vancouver. Anchorage was my least favorite. It was okay. Um... Uh, we took, uh, my friend and I took a tram ride up to the top, or halfway to the top of this mountain, and then we did some whale watching. Um, oh, also in Skagway, we went, we went to a saloon that, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm gonna pause again real quick. Ookie dook, I'm back. Uh, so, yeah, Skagway, we also went to a saloon, um, yeah, a saloon, bar, restaurant type thing. Uh, that previously used to be a brothel back in the old, old, like, frontier days. Uh, and they had a, um, what's it, museum up at, on the second floor of the restaurant where they still had stuff from the old days, but I didn't go up there because they didn't have an elevator. And that was pretty much the only non-accessible thing that happened during the entire trip. Other than that, Every, you know, every restroom, every building pretty much was accessible with the exception of that. So, okay, so that was Skagway still. I mentioned about um, Juno. I feel like I said Anchorage instead of the last time. Skagway, Juno, Ketchikan, Vancouver. Moving on to Ketchikan. Sorry, I'm sure you're all mixed up now because I'm all mixed up. Um, Ketchikan. So, I think Ketchikan was my favorite... Uh, port out of all of them. Oh, sorry, I keep getting interrupted. Okay, Ketchikan was my favorite port, uh, with the exception of the sled doggies. Those were great in Ska uh, Skagway. But Ketchikan, we went to a lumberjack competition, which was awesome. I think it was called the All-American Lumberjack Competition, but I'm not 100% sure, so uh, if you go look for that and that's not the name of it, don't blame me. Um, but it was a lot of fun, uh, really interesting seeing the guys do their lumberjack type stuff like axe throwing and uh, climbing trees and whatnot, stuff like that. But it was also funny, they had a comedic element to it, so that was cool. And we got to do some shopping there. We did a little bit of shopping in Skagway, but mostly um, we couldn't do that much uh, other than the stuff we had planned because it was raining uh, it was, it was pouring, actually, teeming, even, um, so we didn't, weren't able to do that much walking around in Skagway, um, not as much as we did in Juneau and, uh, Ketchikan. Um, any hoozle. So, that was great, everything was accessible there as well. Um, then we went to, or then we had another day at sea, uh, saw some great shows on the ship, singers and comedians and well actually I will say the comedian on the ship was bad <laughs> really bad my friend and I left that and went to another thing and had a much better time everything else was really nice on the ship though um not the comedian he was not funny at all um so then we ended up in Vancouver and we didn't plan anything on the ship from for that day so we just sort of went off on our own and went to uh, a park in Vancouver, which was kind of neat, although it was 
up with the place that we wanted to go to was up a very 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 large hill which we didn't know about and nobody at the hotel we were staying at in Vancouver told us about so that was a surprise and that was kind of difficult but uh, about a third halfway or a third of the way up the hill it was sort of me against the hill and there was no way I was gonna let that hill beat me so even if I was too tired I was just gonna keep on going and I did and we made it up uh, to where we wanted to go and then that was it we spent the night in Vancouver at the hotel and then flew back to New Jersey uh, the next morning so that's about it pretty much everything it was accessible which was good news again except for that museum in the place that used to be a brothel um, it was re a lot of fun very relaxing and I highly recommend going to Alaska if you haven't been there and you're at all interested it's definitely worth going um, the one sort of negative was that if I had gone a month or so earlier the weather would have been nicer uh, when I when I went at the end of August the temperature uh, was like high 50s low 60s which is a bit cool for me actually I prefer 70s um, mid 70s low 80s even <laughs> Um, if I had gone a month earlier, it would have been probably in the low mid 70s, which would have been a lot better for me. But it was alright. I had uh, heavy clothes with me, so it wasn't too bad. Anyway, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will add a few pictures at the end of this. Uh, okay. Thanks, and bye-bye.